now the next topic is cross-linked hyaluronic acid and its application in the oral cavity. And this is something I discovered and I'm very happy about that. Probably I could give uh, as well as many others my little contribution to make this more and more and more popular because there is so much compact, massive benefit in the application that in my personal point of view, I don't see any reason not to use it. Here, another example, you see clinically, this were um, ceramic inputs restored with a temporary resin uh, bonded bridge. And you see that we need to manipulate again the soft tissue. So we started here continuously to inject the soft tissue. Another case, you see an implant and there is peri-implant bone loss. And yes, there is peri-implant bone loss around a zirconia implant. And I would never say there is no peri-implantitis around zirconia implants. 